they say if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love. What's going on, guys? It's Zach Pro here, and we're back with another Skyrim video. Now, in today's video, it is kind of a re-upload, but it has been enhanced and rehashed and the video is going to be a little bit different obviously there's a new mic in this in return from the other one that I was using which was just a basically headset mic now we got a blue yeti microphone so that it sounds a little better the video is going to be different there's some things that I didn't say in the last one I'm going to say in this one so let's get right into this the first thing in the beginning of the last one I told you you need to get level 90 conjuration to be able to get any of this done to get the sigil stone but that is not actually true anymore there is a way you can wall breach and get the sigil stone out of a chest in that little doorway back there where I'm aiming so that's so much easier so that's like five minutes out the way done that we don't have to you know go into and break down it's so much more simple now and I have broken down exactly where you can find all the ingredients. I'll link little things down below if I have videos. If not, I will explain the items when we get to the part where the items need explaining. But first of all, let's get the sigil stone and let's start this off. Alright, so first things first, you're going to head into this little room right over here. It is the Hall of the Elements. Now basically, there are four pillars in here. There's two on the left, two on the right. Up close, at least, there's a bunch of pillars. But the twos that are super lit up right here, this is the one that we want. The chest is about right there, about where that little little uh, corner is on the, on the tile. Basically, you're going to get a wooden plate. I have two on the floor right here. Uh, you can either crouch and do the little sneak run thing, or you can... Uh, you can do the sneak, crouch, run, little thingy, or you can just run into the wall. I'm going to do the sneak roll because it seems to work better for me, but that is all up to you guys. So let's see if we can do this with the plate sideways. And we can. First try. Open the chest up. There's some power of elements. There's a thing. But the sigil stone, that is the main thing. We already got the sigil stone. We're done with 95% of this little video easy this is so much quicker now now go once you've gotten that once you've you know done all that and also wooden plates you can find them just about anywhere go into any um any hold or area where there are you know there's a yarrow and things like that this is a little mod i have that makes little areas look better add books things like that because knowledge is key and i have something a little a little mod as well that lights up books i haven't read so you can see these are glowing if i open this book up it's not glowing anymore. It's just brown. It's not brown and purple. Uh, but yeah, that a little fun thing like that. Now that you've done all that, let's go to the midden. You have the sigil stone. Let's go to the midden, and we're gonna go to the little zone. I always forget what it's called. Um, oh, the Atronach Forge. That's what it was. Uh, we're gonna head over there. Now I may get a little lost while doing this because I don't remember exactly where I am coming in from that way. I think I know where I'm going. But I may get a little lost, so bear with me for a moment. Uh, no, I've made it. All right. Now, obviously, there were some things I was doing in here. I did the video already, so there's some things. Let me just let me just clean this up real quick. Uh, you didn't see anything. Uh, nothing happened right there. But basically, this is where you're gonna be. You're gonna need a few ingredients before you start this little thing up. But first of all, the pedestal. There's a sigil stone. You're already mostly done. Like I said, now you need a few key items before we start. So let me open up my little tab that tells me everything we need. So we need Daedra Hearts, Ebony Ingots, Greater Soul Gems Filled, Void Salts. Uh, you can have a Silver Sword, a Black Soul Gem Empty or Filled, a Centurion Dynamo Core, and or Ebony Armor slash Weapons. Now, those ingredients are all for the exact same thing. Um, some go to certain other parts and some go to other things like the ebony armor if you put that in instead of a void salt or silver sword then you're going to be able to pick exactly what the uh, what the Atronach Forge does let's see if I have anything in the offering box already alright I do so we have void salts greater soul gems ebony ingots and a danger heart now what this will do is this will spawn a random repeat random enchanted piece of daedric armor if i'm not mistaken let's just pull the lever and see what happens i think it is armor and it is it is some armor and as you can see revival that is an enchantment 
So let's go over to Peril. Yeah, I know you. Or yeah, Peril. I know you see all this random stuff. Uh, revival, health regeneration, 50% faster. I have two of them because this is you know popped up before. And instead of a void salt, if you put in a silver sword, which is a lot harder to do, but you can do it. Take out the void salts. Put in the ebony ingot, or not the ebony ingot, I'm sorry, I was reading on screen. Pull out the void salts, put in a silver sword, then you'll get a random weapon. There is a glitch where the war hammer is the only weapon that spawns. Um, they say there's a fix, basically take off the sigil stone, take everything out, and then re-put it back in. That doesn't work for me. Uh, if that is your only problem, or if, that, if only the war hammer spawns, and what I would advise doing is basically just don't do that just wait until you can get ebony uh, weapons and uh, basically just put what uh, ebony weapons in here and you can pick whatever weapon you want so if you put in a bow you're gonna get a bow obviously things like that alright so everything that's in there right now except the void salts and silver swords go for the random enchanted thing so danger hearts ebony ingots greater soul gems filled filled they have to be filled I had so many in the last video be like, well, it's not working, it's not working. Well, is it filled or not filled? Well, it's empty. I'm like, okay, well, there you go. That's why, that's why it's not working. I swear. Like, you know, Ty Lopez says, I know not everybody likes him, but, you know, common sense isn't common anymore. People just think everything needs to be handed to them. But nonetheless, just, just watch in depth on the videos, break down, see what you did wrong. Nonetheless, that's got to be filled. For the second one... If you want to get a specific piece of Daedric armor or weaponry, then you need to put in a Black Soul Gem. That one can be empty or filled. Black Soul Gem, empty or filled. Second, Centurion Dynamo Core. Those are very difficult to get, so, you know, I had in the last video, level one, obviously it wasn't. This is now a lot quicker. You can technically get this at a level one. You can get Daedric Hearts. There's one, at least one piece of danger or one danger heart in the companion zone. Ebony ingots, you can find them just about anywhere. I have a video on it. I have a video for danger hearts and ebony ingots, and I'll link those down below. Don't forget to look at those. Greater soul gems, you can get all of those from um, court mages or any mage that you find. Um, there's also a little hidden chests you can find. I'm go not going to make this video super long, so I'm not going to go into all of that. Void salts you can get from, uh, what are they called, not ingredient places, uh, alchemist shops. You can get them at alchemist shops. If it's not there, if you don't see them there, save your game, kill the person, kill the merchant, reload the save, and their inventory will refresh. And that also works with danger hearts. Silver swords, do the companion quest line, you can start getting silver swords. Black soul gems, same thing as greater soul gems, talk to a court mage or any mage that you find. Um, Centurion Dynamo Cores are a lot harder to find, um, but you can find them in Black Reach and anywhere you can find a big Centurion, uh, you know, mech thing. I don't know, I guess they're Centurions, I don't know. Uh, Ebony Weapons and Armor, they start dropping at level 12 to level 30. Um, so the random weapons and armor is what can be get gotten at level 1. If you want specific stuff, then you have to be level 12 or level 30 when you can start finding ebony. Uh, I say 12 to 30 because 30 is when it starts dropping high. Level 12 is when you find them on occasion and then it progresses until you get there. Um, that's basically it. That's the re video, that's a video redone. I just wanted you guys to be able to see that this can be done a little bit easier. I had this going on in my mind for a good minute and I wanted you guys to be able to see it and you know it'd be a little bit easier. So if you did enjoy the video Leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, click that little bitty bell to be notified whenever I upload my videos. Alright, not gonna run into a spiel on that. But click subscribe, click like, comment, click the bell, blah blah blah. Everything you wanna do, because you know you love me. You love me. Keep it going. Um, probably gonna have some t shirts or something coming out pretty soon. I've had a couple requests for that. I've actually had quite a few requests. Uh, people asking me, you know. Can you get a 180 shirt, you know, because all y'all want to talk about, what's a 180? You know, I'm not even going to get into it. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't. I might make a, a shirt on that. I've been thinking about it. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. This wasn't as long as the other one. It's just about the same. It's a little bit shorter, though, about two minutes or so. 
If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Sight Pro. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.